What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. Keep calm and game on. In this episode, we are playing a brand new game called The Pit of Doom. This is kind of the working title. The developer said he's probably going to change the name to something else, but right now, it is, this game is called The Pit of Doom. So if you want to check it out on Steam, type it in. I will also put a link in the description. But it's basically like a first person shooter slash roguelike game. And it looks a lot of fun. It's still in early access, so it's not complete yet, but we're just gonna hop in. I bought it last night, gave the guy my money, because even though it's not finished, it looks like it's gonna be worth it. It looks like it's worth it right now, to be honest. But yeah, I haven't played a single second of it yet. So we're gonna hop in and find out what this game is about together. So let's do it. We're gonna go with single player. I have everything set to high except the shadows. I have that set to medium. So I don't know if there's voice acting. Oh, it looks like we get to pick our character. Okay, so we got the engineer class the marine class and the scout class and then it kind of has a description of uh like their backstory and stuff and it also they also have different stats i'm gonna go with the marine class um inventory loadouts this is what we got for our loadouts oh cool you can, can you just okay i don't know if you can equip stuff before you start or if this is kind of your default um loadout when you start but okay looks like we got all that Click for more details. Can I upgrade these? Oh, I can, you can customize these as well. That's interesting. Okay, so let's go and just start the game. And let's see what we got. Like I said, this game is early access, so we might run into some bugs. The game might crash. But uh, we're going to find out together. Um, let's see here. So, game has started. So far, so good. Um, open inventory is this button. Is I. Uh... Okay, so I, I just kind of lost what the, the controls were. Options? Let's look at the, the, the controls again. Keyboard. Okay, forward, strafe left. Interact is E, confirm is enter. Character sheet, inventory, fire, reload is R, cycle weapons. Melee, middle mouse button. Sprint is left shift. Uh, flashlight is F. Okay, well, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That's what we always do. So let me just walk around this room. Let's see, what do we got here? Ammo crate. Um, pry open. Now we're gonna try to pry it open. Let's see what's inside. Nice. So we got some rifle ammo and some more rifle ammo. I'm gonna reload my gun. Okay, gun's already reloaded. Looks like we got some dead bodies here. Look like they've been cooked or something, burned alive. Damage locker, let's see. Um, let's open up this. Chance of success, 69 to 94%. Okay, let's open up this. Oh yeah, some more ammo. Yes, baby. Gotta get ammo, because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of stuff we're gonna have to shoot in this game. I'm gonna look around here. Don't see anything. I can look kind of down the sights. And I guess we're just gonna go through this first door and see what's up. So you guys ready? Here we go. Going through the door. Oh God, oh, okay. All right, all right. Back up, son. Oh jeez. Woo. Okay, I was not expecting that right off the bat. Those are some giant rats there. Holy smokes. Okay, let's continue. Like I said, guys, I'm not really sure what to expect. Am I hitting this guy? I, I'm th I'm missing. This, this uh, gun isn't the most accurate. But... Oh, got that guy. Got that guy. Sound effects are pretty good. Let me turn down the volume on my end just a tad. Don't want to blow my eardrums out. But uh, I, I can turn on my flashlight too. Does the flashlight have a limited uh, battery? I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna leave it off for now. Oh god, we gotta reload. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, here we go. You're dead. Ooh. What is this? Bindings? Okay, we picked up some bindings. I don't know what those do. Maybe we can like craft them or I don't know. I don't know what these do. Maybe they're like bandages or something? Let's pick those up. Okay, we got... Okay, we got a door here. Keypad. I don't... I don't... Yeah, let's let's try it. Unlocking door. I don't see anything. Nothing better jump out of me. I don't know if there's jump scares in this game, but hopefully not. Open up crate. See what we got. That's the ticket. Oh god, what's hit me? Something's touched me. Something's touched... Freaking little rat piece of piece of poop okay so we did get, get some more ammo so it looks like ammo is pretty plentiful 
Um, this might just be because it's the first level, I don't know, but a lot of games it's like really hard to find ammo, so I'm glad it's at least giving me some ammo to work with right off the bat because I'm pretty new and I don't know what I'm doing, so um, I'm glad it's giving me some ammo. What is this thing? Yeah! Took that bad boy down. What do you got? Oh, there's another rat. Hey, back up, son. Okay, we got some scrap metal. Very nice. More rats. Not anymore. More dead rats. Oh, goodness. This looks like a big daddy. Okay. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Is there melee damage? Like, is there a melee attack? I don't know if there is. Oh, there is a melee attack. Okay, sweet. So I'm gonna try to hit this thing. Wait, did I just change my fire mechanic? How did I do that? Because it was like shooting... Is C? What? Ooh, attributes. Okay. We got health, experience, food, attributes, um, might, or my fitness, my brains. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump up that, I guess. I don't exactly know what any of this does. I'm going to bump up my might as well. Okay. So I did that. I don't know how I changed my fire. My, oh, look at this. We got a knife too. Oh, buddy. We got like a machete. And what is this? Are these bombs? These are grenades. Oh, man, I'm liking this game, guys. Got a lot of different... Oh, we got a pistol, too, man. Sweet. We got a pistol, guys. Single shot. Auto. This is full auto. Switch. Oh, switch fire modes. Okay, that's... Okay, th there we go. Okay, that's how you switch. Let me just reload real quick. Let's go investigate this room. And lots of flies and dead bodies. Um, let's loot the pile. Search rot pile. What do we got here? Nothing found, okay? Let's search this pile. Um, we found some ammo. That's nice. Uh, what else we got over here? Can I search this? Doesn't look like it. I'm liking the graphics, too. Okay, let's go back through this door. And I, I can also run, which is a good thing to know. Fire effects, very nice. There's a door here. Let's try to open up this. See what's inside. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight because it's getting dark. Just looking around real quick. I don't want anything to jump out at me. Okay. Wait. I heard something. I heard a bat. Thought I heard a bat. Maybe not. Open the crate. Looks like we got some pistol rounds. All right. I'm gonna actually switch to my pistol. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch to my pistol. Just say, remember to drink your oval teen. Your oval teen. Okay. Uh, we do have a map, it looks like. I just noticed that, actually. We got a map in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. So I'm going to go this way. I think it's showing everywhere that I've been so far. I think. Not entirely sure, but we're going to go over here. And we're going to just walk down this... I've, yeah, I've already I've already been in there. I think maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna search this rot pile. See what's inside. Searching pile. We got an egg. XP earned by using foraging. Okay, I picked up an egg. I don't know what the egg does. If I look at it here, egg. Oh, so it's food. So I can actually eat that. I think. Okay, interesting. So let me see. I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna equip my pistol again. Hey, equip my pistol. How do I exit this? Okay, there we go. Okay. Actually, it, it didn't equip my pistol. There we go. Okay. Um, wait. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check this room out again because again, I don't think I've been. I don't think I've been in here before. We got a freezer. Open up freezer. What do we got inside? Yeah. Oh, we got some safe meats and some sol force rationing. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Open up damaged freezer. The freezer's damaged. This stuff's probably gonna be rotten if there is anything in here. Uh, food pellet. Okay, so we got a food pellet. Damaged locker. Open it up. What do we have inside? Uh, lock pick set. Very nice. That could come in handy. Um, let's go this way. I, I am seeing a little bit of like stuttering as far as like frame rate goes. But, um, again, this game is in early access, so that's to be expected. 
Um, I like the little flies and stuff. The water effects over here are nice too. Like, use this little puddle. Very nice. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, and I think we're gonna keep going forward. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. Just because I don't know if we need it right now. And again, I don't know if my flashlight has a limited battery. But I'm going to activate the elevator doors. I want to just look around this corner real quick. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's go in the elevator. And, uh... Go down to floor two. Okay. So that was the first floor. I, I think we're just going down. We're going down. I, I'm not sure what the plot is of this game. Or what the... You know, I don't know, like, why you're going down. Um, there wasn't really a story, as far as I could tell. There may have been a story, like, on, you know, the main Steam page. You may have, like, told you what the story was about. But as far as gameplay goes, there was no cutscene that I accidentally skipped or anything. It just kind of threw me into the game. So, maybe... Um, they'll put a story, or maybe you've just, there is no story. I mean, I don't know if this game really needs a story, but, uh, yeah, so we are loading. A little bit of stuttering. Um, we're still loading. Hopefully, like, game didn't freeze up. If it did, we'll have to restart. I think it's still loading, hopefully. Or my game it may have just froze up, guys. It may have just froze up. Um, because I am not, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything happen here. Yeah, I think we froze up. So, I'm not, not sure what we're going to do. I might just have to restart the game. Let's try to restart, guys. Task manager. Task manager. Where is it? The games launcher? Uh, oh wait, there it is, there it is, okay, it actually loaded, okay, so it just took a little bit, took a little bit, but we did make it to the second floor, and it did get through that loading screen, I don't know if that was normal, but, so yeah, this game, you know, still being optimized, because it's obviously not finished yet, oh god, that scared me, holy baloney, oh jeez, that, that actually scared me, I almost jumped there, holy baloney, okay, uh, let me switch weapons, I want to bring out my my gun again because yeah, I want to make sure I have some some good stuff here. A little bit of frame drops there, okay. Oh, is there a bat? Yep, there's a bat. Okay, we kill that guy. Is it not letting me run? Like, what's going on here? It's there we go. Okay. Oh god, what is this? Okay, those guys are dead. I was not expecting that. Escalated quickly. Weird sound effects. Okay, we got some meats, I think. Oh god. Some space snakes. Reloading, 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 reloading. I'm trying to punch it. Grab some meat. Is something touching me right now? What's touching me? This little snake. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. What I think I'm going to do, though, I'm going to open up my inventory. And I'm going to try to eat some food here. Organic matter. Safe food. Eat. Okay, that's going to make my health go up a little bit. I'm going to eat this egg, too. Eat. And hopefully that'll make my, my health go up. Let's reload my pistol here. Elevator door, that's where I came from. Okay, alright. Back up! Those things are hard to hit, man. Okay. Make sure nothing else is in here. I'll loot this pile of bones. Search the pile, what's inside? Nothing found. Okay, you can't win them all. Open up the locker. Drawing that open. What do we got? We got Hiver Multi-Tool. What the heck is a Hiver Multi-Tool? Um, Hiver Multi-Tool. Where did it put that? Is that here? Highly adaptive tool that can aid in variety of electronic and mechanical tasks. Using it drains power, so it will eventually need to be recharged at a charging hub. Hiver Multi-Tool. Okay. Um, 
I don't know if I want to, I, I don't know if I can use that. Can I put it over here? Doesn't look like it. So I don't know what that's for, but it might come in handy later on. Open up the locker. Uh, some ammo. I think I can also rank up, so let me see. I can use some skills, I think. So, uh, I'm gonna rifle. Earned by using, okay, fine, okay. I think that's how you use it. Mechanical stuff, spear, melee damage, computer engineering, medical, foraging. Let's, up, let's go with our foraging. Um, heavy weapon, assault, assault weapon, I think that's that. Base level assault weapon, hit that up again. Um, traps, pistol, let's put our pistol up. Lock picking level, we'll turn that up a little bit. And then our brains, we'll, we'll knock that up a couple notches. Um, I think that's all I can do as far as that goes. Engineering, decipher, computing skills. Blade, we'll put our blade skill up, and I think that's all we can do. So, okay, so we upgraded our character. Nothing else in here to get. So let's continue onward. Our health is going up, so that egg and that piece of meat that I just ate, that did restore my health. Good to know. There's something behind me. Thought there was, guess not. Um... I don't know which way it's supposed to be going. Because yes, there's the elevator. So, I, I could have sworn I already was over this way. It's kind of like a giant maze. Okay, I haven't been inside here yet. Unlock door. Lock pick. We're just gonna, we're just gonna unlock the door. Oh god. You're dead. All right. Uh, what do we got over here? Anything? What is this? Damage med bay. Repair med bay. Damage med bay. A broken medical core pad that would automatically cure damage and infection if repaired. High multi tool. So I can I can actually repair this. I'm gonna try to repair it with that high multi tool I picked up. Did it work? Sweet, it worked. So, now what? Can I just stand here and my health will go up? Activate med bay? Computer skill, chance of success. I don't actually need the med bay at the moment, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it and see what happens. Gained one in computing, earned for using computer. I, I gained 28 experience from using that though. I don't, th I, th I don't think it did anything as far as stats go because I was already at full health. Let's unlock the door. Mission accomplished. Oh god. You're dead. Whew, that was close. Freak me out a little bit there. Okay, let's keep going this way. I don't know if I have a stamina meter. But uh, let's go over here. I think I've already been over here. Yeah, I've been over there, so let's go this way. I'm hearing like rats and stuff. Uh, I don't think I've been in here yet. Unlock the door. There's usually like monsters or something behind these doors. There's a little bat there. You're dead. That was the only thing in here. So let me just search this. Looks like... Um, I don't know if I picked up anything. I couldn't tell. Search, Searching the crate. What do we got? We got a med kit. That could come in handy. Search the crate again. Now these crates don't have locks on them, so I'm not going to worry about losing, uh, I mean, using the lock picks that I got in my inventory because obviously I don't need to. But I think there are going to be crates that have locks on them that I'm going to have to use those picks for. That would make sense. Okay, so let's go this way. And I think this is the right way to go. What I am going to do, I'm going to equip my... Um, my assault rifle again. I'm gonna put it on single fire though, so I don't waste ammo. Because it was on burst fire or auto fire, and I feel like we don't necessarily need that. Unlock the door. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, alright. You're dead. 
You know what? I'm gonna switch back to full auto because yeah, that was uh, that was intense. Let me turn on this flashlight. A rat around. Oh bad. Come on. Oh reload, reload, reload. Okay. You're dead. What I call overkill, baby. Looking around, nothing else. Okay, let's loot the pile. See what's inside. Looks like we got some armor-piercing pistol rounds. Very nice. Now, let me see if I can open up my inventory. Can I put those pistol rounds... Are those just normal pistol rounds? Charge. A small, sturdy... Okay, so that's charge, drop, and destroy. What does charging do? Rifle ammo. Destroy meat so I can eat it. So I'm going to eat this meat real quick. Um, this med pack I can use. Rifle ammo. Okay. Grenades. Equip. I already have those equipped. Okay, so let's just exit that. Let's look around here and see if there's anything else we can grab. I keep hearing like mice and stuff in the background. Maybe it's, I'm just hearing things. Damaged cooker. Oh god, we could have used that. We could have like fixed this thing. And we could have cooked that meat that we just ate. And if we eat cooked meat, it probably gives us better stats than like raw meat. Um, but I'm repairing this. Looks like we did fix it. Uh, I'm going to just hit the cook button. Use cooker. Select tool. I'm using the cooker. What did we just cook? Did it, did it say what we just cooked? Um... I just cooked something, or I just turned it on, or maybe it's it's cooking as we speak. Not entirely sure what I just did there. But there are stoves, and there is cooking mechanic in this game. So that's good to know. I'm going to loot these real quick. I'm going to open up the freezer. Maybe there's some food in here we can cook in that, that uh, stove we just did. No problem. Uh, infinite food. Infini food. A moldy bread. I don't know if we want to eat the moldy bread. It might make us sick. We could try eating that bread to see if uh, there's like a mechanic where you get sick. But I don't know if I want to risk it. Let's go back over here. Okay, so it, there's like nothing in there at the moment. It won't let me cook anything again. So it might be just like a one-time use. Not sure. Okay, so we went in there. I'm going to open up this door over here. Buddy. Come on. Frame skipping on me. Don't crash, game. You got this. You got this. Okay, wait. They're still around here. You're dead. You're dead. There was a snake. Where's the snake go? Did I kill the snake? I think I killed the snake. Okay, so there's nothing there. Nothing there. I'm going to reload my gun. And I have had my flashlight on for quite some time, so I don't think it takes energy, but I might be wrong. That snake is dead. Okay, I like the blood too. Nice. Nicely done. Okay, nothing else is in here, I don't think. Open up the crate, see what's inside. We got some food. Picked up pistol rounds. No, that was actually pistol rounds. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Light weapon locker. Uh, open rusty door. Let's see if this works. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we got energy cells. Ballistic repair kit. So if we have a repair kit, that might mean our weapons actually degrade over time. I would assume that's what it means, but I don't know. Let's open up this crate. Let's see what's inside. Uh, shotgun ammo. Okay, we'll take that. Now, just out of curiosity, I want to open this up. We got the ballistics repair kit. A kit containing parts and tools needed to maintain ballistic weapons. Okay, so these do, I guess, get damaged over time. Durability, 32 of 40. Okay, yes, there is durability on these things. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to exit this. I don't think I have anything that I can actually equip to my character as far as, like, um like armor or hats or anything go exotic material what is this i don't know but i haven't picked up like any armor as far as i can tell um 
Let's continue in this direction. Let's keep going this way. Keep your eyes peeled for enemies, guys. Let's open up this. Unlock the door. I don't see anybody at the moment. Let's loot this pile of rubbish. I guess I can't loot that. I think I already did loot that. Yeah, this is the that's the one with the stove. So we just kind of went in a circle there. But let's go this way. Cuz I think I've I've gone everywhere I can in this area. Um elevator door. Floor button. Up, go up to floor one. No, I don't want to go up to floor one. So that goes up. So we got to get to the elevator that goes down, which I think is in this direction. I think it's the red arrow on the map. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Go down to floor three. Yes. So we're going down to floor three. I don't know if there's a save mechanic or or not. I think this is like a roguelike game. So th with what that means is you basically have like one life and after you're dead, it just, you're dead, and you have to restart the game and, you know, try another run. I believe that's what this game is. So there may not be a save mechanic, but it may save some of your, like, upgrades or, or things. But, um, but I'm not sure about that. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like we're loading. Now, the last time we went down this elevator, it did take quite some time to load. I thought the game was frozen. Um, well, you guys obviously saw that happen if you're still watching, but we're just going to let this load... And hopefully it'll it'll get down to the next level. I think there are 30 levels to this kind of whatever this facility is. There's 30 levels at the moment. There are going to be more levels as um, the developer, you know, um, develops the game. But as of now, I think there's only 30 levels, which is still, that's a lot of levels. I mean, 30, that's, uh, that's a pretty good number for being an early access game. But uh, a new update is supposedly supposed to be coming out soon, or maybe it just came out and this is what we're playing now. But I did read on the Steam kind of uh, page that th that there is going to be a big update incoming. So that may have already been implemented or it may be on the horizon. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to let this load. While this is loading, guys, if you, if you like this video, if you like this game, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of it. I will try to put a link to this game in the description if you guys want to check it out. It is only $10. And uh, you can you can pay like eleven dollars, and you can get another game made by the same guy. That's kind of like a kind of like a top-down perspective of like the same kind of general idea of what this game is. Um, but that game came out first, and this I think is kind of based on that game, but it's like a first-person shooter perspective. But you can get like that bundle, which I did for like eleven dollars, or you can just get this game by itself for ten. And the price will go up after development, uh, you know, gets further along. This, it's only been on Steam for a month, but as you know, as the game progresses, the price is going to go up considerably. So if you hop on now, um, you'll get it for a lot cheaper. Oh God! Okay. All right, little robot, little freaking robot, looking around, and I'm pretty sure like every level. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Like your flashlight actually makes the fog harder to see through, which is how it is in real life. Um, so that's that's a nice feature there. Um, but as I was saying, I think each level you go down, the harder it gets and the more enemies there are you're going to encounter. That's usually how these type of games work. What am I hearing? Okay, alright. Let's open up the crate. See what's inside. Alright, what do we got here? Pistol rounds, some grenades. I haven't used a single grenade yet. Um, so I might want to try using one of those. Is there a grenade button? There is a grenade button. There is a guy over there. I don't know if he heard me. I did see somebody over here, though. There's some little rat moving around. There he is. This, this gun is not very accurate at a distance. You gotta kind of be up close and personal if you want to get those hits. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, buddy. The enemies do probably take more damage as well. Oh, God. I've never came across this guy before. Okay, this is like a scorpion. Oh, buddy. Things are getting crazy. All right, this guy does not want to die. Uh, I'm going to equip 
a grenade. Wait, did I kill him? Oh god, he's still around here. Just gotta throw a grenade and see what happens. Oh god, okay. I'm losing health. I think that guy poisoned me. I think that bat poisoned me. Reload, 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 reload. Come on. I think I'm out of ammo. Uh, that vampire bat. Oh god. Holy baloney. I'm just not doing too great here. Okay. Think we're fine. I did get poisoned. I think the effects wore off though. Uh, but what do we got here? Lockpick sets. Um, this food. I'm gonna eat this food. Eat the food. Get my stamina back up. I'm gonna get my health back up. What is this? Med patch. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use a med patch. There we go. That'll get my health up too. Okay. We are running kind of low on ammo though, so that is something I am worried about. Let's open this door. Oh god. Oh, is there is there an actual dude shooting me? There's a robot shooting me, guys. There's a robot shooting me. Throw a grenade. Oh god. All right. I used a grenade. Didn't really do anything. I think it was just a flash grenade. Reload. Reload. You're dead. Little freak. Okay, so yeah, this game is getting considerably harder. Uh, what do we got here? Turn on my flashlight. You saw the tut? What the freak, man? Little hedgehogs coming at me now. Okay. Definitely harder to kill than those rats that I've been killing. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more damage than I did in the previous two floors. It is getting harder. Def difficulty is definitely ramped up. Um, hopefully there's some ammo in here. Check it out. Lockpick set. Haven't had to use any lockpicks yet. Alright. Organic matter. Picked up that. Hopefully there's some food in here. Let's search it. I do got I think I have another med pick on... I mean another med... Med pack on hand. Digital interpreter. I don't know what that does. Little freaking bat. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to level up here if I can. Um, let's see. Melee attack, mechanical skill. I'm going to upgrade that. Lockpick skill, electronic skill. Let's upgrade that. Uh, I'm going to go with might, fitness, brains. Upgrade all those. Computer skills and um, pistol skills. Okay. Right, and I'm gonna open up my inventory, see if I got any more packs. I do have a pack. Oh wait, I, so because I leveled up, I got full health again. I think that's how that works. So that's nice. Didn't have to waste a med pack on that. Hey, hey, we got a, we got a freaking snake. Freaking space snake, space slug thing. Okay. All right. Is that, what is this? Electric node? Disable electricity. I'm trying to disable this electricity. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we disabled the electricity. Um, I'm not sure what that was doing. That may like electrify all this purple stuff, but I'm not sure. But we disabled it and we got some points for doing so. So I'm gonna say we did the right thing there. I'm gonna open up this door. Probably gonna be some enemies right inside because that's kind of what's happening. Seems like it's... Wait, did it not work? Unlock door. Okay, there we go. Don't see anybody. Remember to drink your Ovaltine. I'm not sure why the person keeps saying that. Ovaltine. But Ovaltine does exist in this, uh, in this uh, universe, so... Good to know. I wonder if this game would... It would be cool if this game was sponsored by Oval, Oval Team. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, here we go. I don't think... I mean, I'm running really low on ammo. Another one. Another one bites the dust, baby. Okay, that's the door I was just in. Oh, God. What's touching me? You're dead, son. Let's go this way. 
because I think I need to explore this direction. Um, nothing over there. I think we've been inside here. Yep. I think we've been over here. There's a slug. I mean, there's a slime thing. Nice sound effects, too. Good kill animations as well. I mean, yes, the game is still a little bit, you know, rough around the edges, not optimized the best at the moment, but I can definitely see the potential when this is like running, you know, running like a champ, 60 frames or 30 frames a second. I mean, it's, it's running pretty good. It's just it stutters here and there when there's like um, something that has to load. But um, I'm sure that'll be optimized as the as you know the development moves forward. I don't think I've been inside here. Okay. Oh, very nice rifle ammo. Okay, so we do got some rifle ammo, so I don't have to fully rely on this pistol. I don't know if there's if this pistol has unlimited ammo or if uh, this can also run out of ammo. It probably doesn't have unlimited because I have been picking up pistol ammo. Um, but in a lot of games, the pistol is like something that you just have infinite, infinite pistols. Okay, okay, back up, son. These things are fast. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was dead. Let's go through this door. Lockpick skill 32, chance of success. Lockpick set. Unlock, do I have to? I don't think I'm even using a lockpick. Oh, goodness. All right. What is this? Bindings. Open locker. See what's inside. And we got some more rifle ammo. That's good. Damaged console. A battered non-functional data console needing repair. Let's try to repair this thing. There we go. So we did repair it. I think that just uh, gave us ex experience. I don't know if it necessarily does anything aside from giving you experience, but uh, experience is good because then we can use that to you know rank up and improve our character. Uh, let's probably open the locker. What do we got? The locker is empty. Okay. Well, we did find a lot of good stuff in this room, so I can't be can't be too hard on it. We did find some good things. Okay, let's keep going this way. I don't know if this stuff damages you, or if it doesn't. I don't think it does anything. Okay, I'm just kind of curious. There is a chest here. Search the crate. What is inside? What do, oh, we got a digital interpreter. And uh, some more ammo. So we got a 71 to 96% chance of success. I'm pretty sure, like, as, as the game progresses and as, as we go down level to, you know, level upon level, that we're going to come across some of these things that are going to be locked. And that is when we're going to have to use our lock picks. Um, let's open up this. We got to, ter uh, what does that say? A terrain med kit? Terrain med kit? Terrain med kit? Okay, I don't think there's anything over there worth grabbing. Doesn't look like it. Um, and this is just a dead end. Okay. So if I hit the exit button. Oh, I can save an exit. So it, it will save you, I think, where you were. But you have to exit, I think. We also have options. Um, corpse lifespan. Oh, cool. So you can actually turn that up. And the corpses will stay on the ground. That'll probably take up more memory and stuff. And because the game isn't... I don't know how optimized the game is to begin with, so I'm not gonna like risk having the corpses stay there. But that is an option, so that's pretty cool. You got the mouse sensitivity, you can mess with that. You got the video, you can change the resolution, full screen V-Sync, all that good stuff, field of view. I got everything set to high except um, shadows. And you can also make this game look better, but I'm just kind of running it um, at the default settings. You also have the music and speech, all this good stuff. So you got some settings to mess around with if you want to. And um, let's keep going this way. Now, I did kill all the enemies here. I don't know if they respawn or if they'll just stay dead. So I'm not sure. But I think I've killed all these enemies. So if anything respawns, we will know. 
Elevator door. That's the one we came through, isn't it? Floor button. Down floor. Okay, yeah. Let's go to the next floor. Again, this is probably going to take a little bit of time. Probably like a minute, maybe 30 seconds to actually load the next floor. Not a big deal. My encoding software also said it is overloading. Um, so that's probably not a good sign. Because I, I am, I am, str I am uh, recording this and playing this from the same computer, so that is definitely hard on the CPU and the graphics card. But it is what it is. I don't got another computer that I can uh, record with, so we have to do, got to work with what we got. Is what I'm trying to say. But we are uh, about 40 minutes in, so after this, the next floor loads. I'm going to end the video. But guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this game, again, it is called. The Pit of Doom, that's the working title at the moment. Um, they will be changing the name to something else in probably the next coming months or something. Um, but as of now, it is called The Pit of Doom. I'll put the link in the description as well as some more info about it if you want to check it out. It is only 10 bucks right now. I think it's definitely worth 10 bucks. And with the, the new updates and stuff this guy is working on, it's, it's man, you, you got to get it now because the price is just going to go up if you don't jump on it now. But I am liking it. Yes, it is a little rough. Yes, it needs to be optimized a little bit more. But it's definitely playable, and I've, I've been having fun with it. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, link in the description. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date. My name is Adam. Check out my, my uh, Facebook, my Twitter. All that good stuff is in the description. Until next time, guys, keep calm and game on. Toodles!